I need to sort my shit together. For the last couple of weeks, my productivity levels were really down. My diet was simply non-existent. I would eat anything and everything which would hurt my gym progress. And even though I didn't stop going to the gym per se, my workouts were terrible. I would slack off all the time. When it comes to the YouTube channel, you might have realized I actually haven't posted for three weeks last month, which is unheard of on my channel. Because of my terrible diet and unhealthy addictions like staying up late and not drinking enough water, I had a terrible acne, which would make me feel worse and I didn't want to record any YouTube videos. Overall, when you looked at my life, it looked stagnant. I wasn't improving, I was only trying to maintain what I had. Didn't make progress in the gym, didn't even work on my YouTube channel that much, just went back to old habits. I was in the surviving mode of life. But as I tell you all the time, you can't win this game of life if you're only trying to survive. You have to be in the thriving mode and make consistent progress towards your goals if you want to win. This lack of work ethic made me feel like a loser. And that was the truth. I wasn't putting in the work towards my dreams, so I was a loser. But it is time to change that. I'm going to now sit down on my desk and make myself a personal self-improvement plan. You're gonna watch me live of me making decisions and planning my life. This is not something that you've seen from any other self-improvement YouTuber. Buckle your seatbelts. Let me show you how to take control of your life. In this moment, I haven't prepared for this video. It's just the fact that for the last couple of like weeks, my productivity wasn't on point, my fitness wasn't on point, my finances weren't on point, nothing were, but was pretty much on point. And the thing is, I am going to change that. So now you guys are gonna be able to see exactly how I plan my life, my self-improvement plan, so that you can use the exact like type of like thinking and like the uh, system that I use for your life so that you can make yourself a personal self-improvement plan as well. So in my life, personally, there are two like main things that I have to work on, right? Uh, these are the things that I prioritize right now very, very, very much. Finances. Number two, it is fitness. And number three, I'm going to write essentially overall self-improvement. Finances is the main thing that I have in my life. Like I have to build my business, do everything that I do, make money, make a good amount of money because that's a big part of your like SMB as well. Uh, finances is crucial. I'm not going to talk about it. Fitness. Second thing, I am going to, I'm prioritizing fitness at an extreme level. So you got to build that when you're young so that when you're like 25, you can have like fucking seven, eight years of like training experience, which is gonna, which is gonna make you look insane. As long as for me, like the first two things are going well, you're good to go. Maybe you're a student and you have, for example, academia, finances, and then fitness, then you don't really have to have like overall self-improvement or anything like that. I just added self-improvement because like I have time, I'm gonna be working on myself. Let's uh, start with the fitness uh, because it's much easier to talk about. So when it comes to fitness, in fitness, I have three main things that I have to work on. And these are the things that I have to dial down so that like everything is gonna be moving forward and I'm gonna be progressively overloading and I'm gonna be like getting better essentially each month, each week. So the first one is gonna be training. And the second one is going to be diet, and the third one is going to be rest. So, uh, the thing is, truly, I don't really have a problem with the training part, to be honest, personally. I like going to the gym. I love going to the gym. Going to the gym is, like, my favorite part of my day, as you guys know. I just talked to my, like, main fitness coach, and we just buckled down a new training plan uh, that I'm really excited to try. Uh, it's, like, push pull legs, and I'm going to be doing that uh, pretty much five to six days per week. But the training part is not the part that I actually, like, struggle with. What I struggle with is essentially the diet. I'm not gonna bullshit you guys. Uh, probably you guys are gonna make like fucking shorts about this in the future, but my diet is horrendous. I'm a little bitch when it comes to my diet. Like I eat out all the fucking time. Like I actually calculated how much money I spend on eating out. It's a lot, number one. It hurts my calorie, like my macros, my calories, even like my acne, my face. It's terrible for everything. Eating out, like eating unhealthy meals is terrible for everything, for a sleep schedule, for productivity. That's what's stopping. I'm going on a full perfect diet. Maybe not like perfect diet, but much, much, much better than uh, like before. Everything is dialed down when it comes to diet. But here's the thing, Ahmed, future Ahmed watching this video, don't be a little bitch. Do not, do, do not, do not be a fucking little bitch and actually do your diet. And actually do your diet. Like don't go out and eat outside. Bring your, me bring your meals everywhere because that's going to be the key to pretty much like everything when it comes to fitness. And number three, this is something that I fucking struggle with a lot, which is rest. My friends, uh, as I said before, my sleep schedule is completely fucking ruined and uh, the reason why it's ruined is because like I do for example freelance work and I just stay up late and do the work and I tell myself okay I'll just stay up late but then I get like five six hours of sleep and then how are you gonna progressively overload in the gym if you're getting like fucking six hours of sleep you're not gonna be able to push more weights and this is fucking terrible for self-improvement so when it comes to rest I'm gonna prioritize 
eight to nine hours of sleep. Uh, my school is done. I have time. I'm, I'm, my life is going to be dedicated for self-improvement. And this self-improvement thing means fitness, finances, and other things that I do to improve myself. M like my life is going to be revolving around building my body. My life is going to be revolving around making good videos for you guys. Why? I have this next four months before I go to uni that I can just do these things. So I'm going to have a perfect diet as well as a perfect rest. Like why would I sleep fucking six hours? Go fucking sleep nine hours and get a really good amount of rest so that when you go to the gym again, you're going to be able to push more weights. You're going to be much, much more stronger. So when it comes to rest, bro, it is what it is. Sleep your eight to nine hours. Do not be a little bitch. Like I'm a little bitch when it comes to rest and diet. Like I, I love going to the gym. I'm a monster when it comes to training. But how can you be a fucking monster at training if you're a little bitch when it comes to diet and rest? You won't be able to do that. The diet and rest, even though they don't seem like as important as training, they are more important because they essentially determine whether your training is good or not. So fitness is going to be rolling around these three things. And uh, I'm currently weighing something like 75.5 kg, and I'm going to be bulking. I'm going to be putting on a weight close to like 0 0.5 to like 1 kg per week. So I'm going to be getting bigger, getting like a, a more muscular. Show, show me the arm, bro. So we're going to be putting on muscle. We're going to be putting on strength. We're going to be putting on size. I'm I'm fucking pumped, bro. I'm fucking pumped, G. So this is the fitness side of things. Two things that I have to do. One, rest well. Two, focus on your diet. Make sure that it's very, very well. So that's basically the fitness side of things. But two, it's going to be finances, bro. So number one, it's going to be like the brand, brand side of things. So the YouTube channel and everything when it comes to that. Uh, number two, uh, freelance. Let's call it freelance. And number three, yeah, let's go to coaching, right? Coaching, would say. Uh, when it comes to my brand, boys, I have the main channel, which you are watching right now, and I have the second channel, which I don't really upload onto that that much. And when it comes to freelance, it's not like a, a service that I offer, but I am working with two other YouTubers to produce their like uh, content for uh, YouTube and like uh, social media. So uh, when it comes to freelance, like my work is decided, like uh, the amount of hours I work per week is decided, the money I make is decided, so it's not gonna be improving much. So we're not gonna talk about like freelance much because it's like fixated already. So we're gonna talk about uh, the brand mostly. The coaching is like that I do for like, I don't really talk about the coaching that I do. I've never talked about the coaching that I do because it's not like I'm, I want to be a coach. It's that I talk to people and keep them accountable through their goals. And this is exactly what I'm trying to do for myself right now. The thing that we have to talk about here is brand because brand is the thing that moves the freelance work, that moves the coaching, like that moves everything basically. I have this channel where I upload like a lot of like different type of videos. I upload vlogs. I upload like the journey videos. By the way, this video is going to be the journey video. Uh, I upload like sit down and talk videos. Uh, I upload a lot of different like type of videos, right? That's not good. That's not good for the channel. That's not good for the audience. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually important thing here is actionable step. Boom. I'm gonna start a podcast. And the first eight episodes are essentially uh, planned. The second channel is gonna be like the podcast channel where I just, I'm gonna talk. Uh, so if you wanna hear me talk, you guys, you have to be on the second channel, right? Not on this one. Because on the main channel, I'm only gonna be uploading uh, two videos a week, two videos a week, but they're gonna be like vlogs that are very, very, very well made. It's not gonna be like a uh, simple podcast. It's gonna be really diving deep into self-improvement. So if you wanna watch me go through my days and be proactive, you have the main channel. If you wanna uh, hear me talk about like self improvement stuff that are deep. Uh, you got you're gonna go to the second channel as well as the podcast. The podcast and the second channel are gonna be the same uh, audio. So if you watch the, like if you watch the second channel, you don't have to listen to podcast. If you listen to podcast on the way, like with your headphones, it is what it is. You don't have to check out the second channel basically. So that's the finances side. So this is how I'm gonna be fixing my life, right? And then on the third one, I have self improvement. So when it comes to self improvement, I'm gonna talk about two things. Uh, number one, kickboxing, and number two, playing the guitar. Play guitar, let's, let's just write G, gangster. Uh, so when it comes to kickboxing, I take like the lessons twice a week, and I just go there, be in the lessons twice a week, improve every single uh, lesson, and then just become a better kickboxer overall, learn how to fight, that's it twice a week. And when it comes to playing the guitar, I'm just starting out. I just hired a coach uh, to coach me. Uh, he's a friend, but I'm going to pay him to coach me, uh, to teach me how to play the guitar. And that's going to be like two lessons per week as well. So four months from now, when I'm making another video like this, I should be playing the guitar at least a couple of songs very well, keep myself accountable a little bitch, and I should be kickboxing very well, as well as I should be doing much better in fitness. I should probably weigh like 82, 83 kg, probably. And when it comes to finances, I should be uploading much more consistently on my brand, and I should have a podcast that is very, very consistent. So this is how I'm going to be fixing my life. From now on, I'm uh, going to sleep well, got to have my diet checked in, um, training is going to be very on point, playing the guitar, going to kickboxing, like they're really focused. So this 
is exactly how I essentially make a self-improvement plan for myself. Here's what I did. I took the main categories of my life, which were finance and fitness, and scheduled like the things that I had to do, like planned how I was gonna improve in that area. Here's how I schedule my days now. I wake up early and do a small morning routine, and then I directly jump into the main task of the day. I try to make serious progress before I leave my desk. Then I hit the gym. I generally spend around like two hours in the gym, then it is time for the workday. The workday might be shooting videos and editing videos for the channel, or it can be doing social media work for other clients as well. I try to never cheat on my diet. Every meal is healthy, nutritious, and planned. I'm taking fitness to an extreme seriousness now. In the evenings, I'll either continue to get work done or do any other type of self-improvement activities, which are playing the guitar and taking language lessons. So this is how you make a self-improvement plan, boys. Cheers.